Philip Rosenberg. Philip. Um, I'll try and project. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Right. If elected, what would you or your administration do to promote good interface relations in London? I will speak to that. Um, what Philip asked was, what would the, uh, your administration do if you are elected to promote good interfaith relations in London? And Brian, first. Uh, I prefer this because I did an interview with the Jewish Chronicle this afternoon, and I think what we have to do is we have to promote what we have in common, our humanity, and, and focus on that rather than highlighting the differences between us. And there are many people from different faith groups who are targeted by extremists. And the different groups should be standing together against the extremists rather than fighting each other. Well, thank you. Shabur. Yeah, I agree with all of that. I attended the Peace Symposium in Merton um, last week, and, um, which was all about bringing different faiths together um, you know, to, to highlight the, the similarities, not the differences. So I think if we could roll that out on a London-wide basis, that would be absolutely brilliant. The simple thing the mayor could do is not insult faith and not insult groups. That's a very easy, simple thing that any mayor should be able to do. Natalie, thank you. Oh, sorry, Siobhan, thank you. Natalie. Um, I don't disagree with anything that's been said. Um, but what I would add is I live in Somers Town, which is between King's Cross and Euston stations. And we do have some tensions in our community. And they basically arise from the young people uh, who are often living in overcrowded housing, who have no activities to do, lots of the youth funding has been cut back. And so the tensions aren't really necessarily truly in faith. They're tensions from groups of people whose communities are put under tremendous strain because of problems of housing, because of problems of unemployment, all of those problems. So we need okay. to tackle all of those problems. Lawrence. Uh, I think you're going to find that we're all pretty much in agreement. And it, put simply, rather than concentrate on what uh, makes us different, we need to concentrate on what makes us the same uh, because we are all. Yeah, one in London. Yeah. Thank you, Lawrence. James? Uh, there's, there's already a lot of excellent work that goes on um, in London through EA Tech Forums, for example. And I think the uh, Mayor absolutely has a duty to uh, help support um, uh, those. Uh, I think using City Hall as a either a physical or um, uh, you know, a, a, a virtual a meeting place for, for faith in London is, is, is really important and recognising the incredibly important work that faith communities do in all kinds of elements of society, you know, faith helping all people. James, thank you. Brown? Yeah, I think that, I mean, I think you're already uh, Chief Executive of the Interfaith Forum, aren't you? There, there is an awful lot of really good work going on and I think it is for the Mayor to often get behind good organisations and, and help support partnerships. But you know, I think it's also about us finding those things we all agree on together. Um, as Natalie talked about youth and employment as a big issue, I think there's a lot of things we can all agree on together and we can work on uh, across faiths, across communities, and preventing knife crime, being a good offer for our young people should be part of that. Well, thank you. Um, because of the time, I'm afraid that we don't have enough time for uh, the individuals, the candidates, to give closing remarks. But if I could just ask everyone to give a round of applause for everyone who's here.